What's up guys, Devberg here. In this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to animate your emotions. So right now, the emotions that we have, nothing really happens when we, um, when they talk. And uh, what it, wouldn't it be cool if a little animation were to play if, uh, if they were angry, like maybe they would, um, maybe they would shake a little bit, maybe like this. And when they're happy, maybe they'll jump up a little bit like this. So let's see how we can do that. All right, so the first thing is that we need a animator for each portrait. So you see here, I already have a animator for each portrait. Um, this is because in my previous videos, I have the characters talking, which I will implement later on. And so if you don't have an animator on each um, character portrait, just create what I've done here is I have a animator called um, Dialogue Controller. And you see all of them are the exact same one. So you don't have to create four different ones. All you do is create a single dialogue controller animator. And then you just attach this onto all four of these character portraits and that should do just fine. All right, so before we even start animating anything, let's set up the reference first for this animator. So let's go over to our dialogue manager and over here, um, our anim, this is where we originally set our animator, or the reference for the animator, but because we have more than just one animator now, we're going to create a new reference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a array by putting the brackets in, and I'm just gonna rename this to anim portraits. And it's gonna give me a bunch of errors because I have the anim set up in different areas and it's not gonna like that I mess everything up. So I'm just going to add two dashes and just uh, nullify these lines of code. And so that I can go over to my manager now and now I have a place to put my animators so I'm going to set the size to 4 and then I'm going to manually drag in each character portrait and make sure that it's in order also mess everything up if it's not okay so I have the reference to my animators and now I can start animating so I'm gonna go over and turn this on real quick and so we have our characters here and all that and I'm going to start with the first one, though it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go to my animator and I'm going to create a new layer. So if you were, if you're new here and you don't have this and it's just an empty, um, it's just an empty animation here, you can just uh, use that. You don't have to create a new layer or anything like that. But for my case, because I already have stuff here and I don't want to mess with it, I'm just going to create a new layer. All right, so let's create a new layer. So under layers, you're going to hit the new layer. And this is if you haven't, uh, or if you've been following along with my other videos and you have this too. We're going to create a new layer, call it motion animations. And you should have a blank slate here. And make sure you hit the cogwheel to set the weight to one. Otherwise, the animations won't play. So now that we have this, let's select the first character portrait. Go over and create a new clip. And we'll call this angry animation. And let's create another one. Call this happy animation. And by default, it's going to go to the base layer. And we don't want it there. So we're just going to delete those. I'm going to manually drag in the angry animation and the happy animation and I'm just gonna make sure that the loop time is off because we don't want it to loop and then we're gonna follow the same um, structure here so we don't want it to automatically 
start off and just trigger the angry animation by default. So we're going to create a new state, make it an empty. And we'll just call this default. And we're going to set the layer as default state. So it's going to go to this, but this is empty, so it's not really going to do anything. And then we're just going to drag uh, these over here and then make a transition. Go to default, from happy to default. And so now if we call the angry animation, it's going to go to default after playing, which is what we want. And so now all that's left to do is to actually create the animations. So make sure that your character portrait, the first one, is selected. Well, it doesn't really matter the first one, but um, just make sure that you have one of them selected. And they animate the same one. So now the first one's selected, I'm going to animate this one. I'm going to go to the angry animation, and I'm going to hit the play, or record button. And I typically just like to set the sample size to 12. This is easier to read. You don't have like a bunch of lines. Um, and then I'm going to go over and make her shake. And let's go over. So I'm going to do this really quick. Um, you probably want to spend more time with yours, but for this example, I'm just going to do it really quickly. Just make her shake around a little bit. Maybe make, do it like that. Alright, that should be fine. And let's make her go back to normal at the end. Let's zero that out. Alright, see what it looks like. Um, that's pretty exaggerated and not that great, but you know what? It'll do for now. So that's what will happen when she is, or whenever this character here is angry. So it doesn't even have to be this specific girl this will work for any character at all and then now let's go over to the happy animation let's set the same size to 12 just because i like doing that and then let's make her jump when she is happy let's go up here and then let's make her come back down let me copy her y position so that she goes back to the original state and paste that in It's gonna look like that. Um, that looks terrible, but you know what? We'll roll with it. All right. So the last thing we do is actually just implement these through the code. Okay. So let's uh, hide these and let us now go over to our dialog manager. So I'm open up our dialog manager right here. And we're going to go down over to our where we DQ the dialog. And this is pretty uh, bloated, I'd have to say. Definitely want to clean this up and consolidate a lot of these uh, lines of code into another method. But for now, um, we'll just leave it like this since it's uh, just a, for prototype purposes. Um, but if you're going to actually implement this, you'd want to definitely make it look look a little bit cleaner. Since I'm not using this part, I'm just going to collapse it um, just to make it look a little bit better. So down around here, anywhere in our DQ dialog, I'm just put over here. This is where we're going to actually set the animation for the, for the character. And we only want to do it when they are not standard. So if they are standard, we don't want an animation to play. It's only when they're angry or if they're happy, we want them to do something. So we're going to say if, and then we're going to get the info, and then the character. And if their emotion is not equal to emotion type dot standard, then we're going to do something. So what are we going to do? We're going to do anim portraits. So this is the array of um, animation controllers that we set up. And so it's going to get one of these four character portraits, uh, their animators. And we want the one 
we want the portrait that is talking currently. So we can use our oops, handy dandy um, method here, get current character index. So this will return the character index of the character that's talking. So we're going to call that get character index. We're going to throw in the info. And just like that, we uh, have access to the character that is speaking. And we're going to say play. And then we're going to play the info dot emotion character motion. And so what this will do dot two string. Sorry. So what this will do is that um, we have a list of character motions uh, over here. And it's going to return one of these. Well, I guess it's going to return either happy or angry. It can't return standard because if it's standard, it's not going to get called. So it's going to return either happy or angry. But we don't have a happy or angry animation, remember? If we look in our animator, it's not happy or angry. It's happy animation or angry animation. So we have to add that animation so that it matches the name of these uh, two animations. So it has to be exactly the same if the um, spelling is a little bit off, like let's say I add an S for animations, it's going to give me an error because happy animations or, or angry animations just doesn't exist. It has to be animation without the S. So make sure the spelling is exactly the same. And with that, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to hit play. This guy, he's angry. And so he shakes. And then this girl, she's happy, so she jumps up a little bit. And this girl is standard, so nothing happens. This guy is standard, so nothing happens. And then this guy is happy now, so he jumps. And this guy is angry now, so he does a little shake. And so with that, you can take your visual novel to the next level, having little, these little animations to help make it come to life. And the next episode, we'll, we can have them actually uh, talking, having their mouths move. I know I did that before, but um, I haven't implemented that in this style with the multiple characters yet. So I'll do that next. And if you guys have other suggestions, uh, leave in the comments below. And with that... I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to thank my Patreons, Alejandro, Kovian, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yuan. If you want to become a Patreon, you can uh, support me at patreon.com slash devbird, where you can join my Discord, or you can just join the Discord um, in the link in the description below. And you there you can uh, suggest videos or ask me questions, and I'll see you guys next time.